Hey, a lot of guys, this is Joey. Uh, the question I get all the time is like, what's the what, what's the excitement in the United States for the T20 World Cup? Like, Joey, tell me what is happening. What are people saying about the T20 World Cup, right? You live in America. I do. And you talk to people. Yeah, I do. I talk to people every freaking day. What are they saying about the T20 World Cup? Nothing. Nobody even knows about it. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of different communities here in the Washington, D.C. area, and virtually none of them talk about the T20 World Cup. The only way I would do that is if I talk to somebody of South Asian or Caribbean descent, really, or maybe Australian or New Zealand descent. That's the only way I'm going to get a conversation about the T20 World Cup. Otherwise, nobody even knows what cricket is that cricket exists but i'm going to go through and kind of go through some of the information the news updates about the t20 world cup in the united states and kind of show you the dismal state and then we have an interview with the usa cricket chairman um i forget his name venu pesike um I can't even stand to look at him because he pisses me off um, because of what's going on with the state of USA cricket and to say like, oh, it's growing. We're doing so much. And really, they're not. And um, you talk to any real cricket fan in the United States, um, there are very few uh, cricket fans. But if you talk to them, um, they will agree with that statement. We could be doing way better. So let's talk about it. Well, first things first, we have the Nepali team arriving in Florida. Um, that's super fun for them. I'm excited. So you do have the Nepal team coming to the United States, landing in there. So they're blogging about their experiences. So go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description so you can um, watch them uh, go to Miami. And of course, you guys do know that we just named Stuart Law as USA Cricket Head Coach. So that's kind of new. If you didn't know about it, now you do. He's from Australia, but basically an honorary American uh, for the time being for the T20 World Cup. So cool. There's a lot of missed opportunities. And, you know, check out Itarre La Pena's uh, post. He talks about um, what's this TV show, NBC Today Show uh, hosts. Holda Kotub and Jenna Bush Hager. Is that former President Jenna Bush's daughter? Anyway, um, they do a cricket demo on the island um, of Bermuda, uh, the Bermuda Cricket Board. And he makes the claim that even more extraordinary is that USA is hosting the T20 World Cup in New York, where the Today Studio show, NBC Studios filmed the show daily. I can't get that out. And yet no segment was coordinated there by the ICC or USA Cricket. So hopefully you got my point there I kind of stumbled my way through that but you know they're doing this segment in Bermuda but yet the show is hosted in New York and nobody did any Today Show segment on the T20 World Cup in New York that is a huge missed opportunity I mean think you, you think it would be easy if they're willing to do a segment here in Bermuda how much more in New York where it's being hosted you know it seems like maybe that's difficult but like make it happen we've talked a lot on this channel because of the main uh, news new sources in USA Cricket about uh, problems with partiality with USA Cricket, and it continues to be a problem. Um, we talked about Nisar Patel. Uh, how did he get a spot on the USA Cricket team with lackluster and below average numbers when there's plenty more? There are plenty more better players, quite frankly, that should be selected for the team. Um, this has been an ongoing case in many different instances um, over the past couple of months. I mean, really for, for years now, which kind of leads me to this article right here. Um, this is an interview with the USA's chairman, Venu Pesike, and he talks um, with the news agency about what his thoughts for uh, the T20 World Cup and what are the host, hopes for the future. Um, he says here that co-hosting the T20 World Cup will expand sports awareness and popularity in the country. Sports awareness, um, again, you know, there are a lot of missed opportunities. And if you look at, you know, Canada, for example, teams like uh, the Toronto Blue Jays in Canada, um, they're doing a cricket night, you know, their related sports, baseball and cricket. And this is the second year they've done it. The uh, United States is not doing anything of the sort. And furthermore, Canada has been naming sponsor after sponsor after sponsor for the Cricket World Cup. You know, we may have beaten their asses uh, four games to nothing, but um, they do a much better job in terms of sponsorships and things like that. The only uh, serious sponsor uh, 
that I'm aware of that United States has is an Indian milk or dairy company. And it seems kind of weird why a dairy company would need to sponsor the United States. I guess they've sponsored Netherlands and other countries, South Africa, but it doesn't seem pertinent to the United States. So and not like an American would see that sponsorship and go, wow, I want to get into cricket. It's more for people, you know, who live in, in India, you know, frankly. So I want to go over this interview uh, with the USA chairman. Uh, this is Venu Pesike. Uh, this was the full interview he did for, uh, it says money control. I, that's not the source I, that I saw. Um, but he does an interview with them in English. So um, we're going to listen to this interview. I'm going to comment on some of it. In very short time, skillful uh, resources in the US. Uh, you know, ICC was able to build the stadium within a short time. And uh, in terms of, you know, ticketing and, uh, you know, the marketing promotion is going at high time now. And Again, like, you know, talking about promotion, what is what are we doing specifically to promote the game in the United States? That's my question. Again, I'm not fully knowledgeable on the source. I'm not the best source of information. But, you know, if you're saying like what what is the United States doing to help promote the game? you know, locally, I have no clue. And uh, in terms of our team preparations, yeah, we, you know, we are, our team is recently announced and uh, we have conducted a couple of camps and, you know. And so the team was announced, the 15 man squad getting paid a very low rate in triple digits. You know, we're talking about $500 a game or less. There was a big controversy or controversy regarding this. And there was the USA nationals, the six team nationals based on regions that basically had one and a half games played and the rest of it was completely rained out. And I don't know how they decided the squad based on that. So, I mean, you could go into more detail with his, you know, basic answers and just, you know, it just seems. You know, the, the selection tournaments. And recently we have played with uh, Canada in a bilateral and uh, in a week time, you know, two weeks time, we'll be playing Bangladesh in another bilateral uh, leading to the World Cup uh, preparations. And then, yeah. Preparations were late. like. It's so last minute. I don't know why it wasn't announced like, you know, a year in advance. Um, more different teams have, were way faster in advancing it. United States was like the last team in announcing these. And you think a country that's hosting it would be, you know, much earlier to the game on that. Why was it so late to be announced? That's my question. You know, everybody's pumped up and uh, ready for the, the excitement. I trained for a couple of weeks before they participated in the uh, qualifiers, CWC qualifiers um, in 2022 and uh, and there was some alliance with uh, you know the associations uh, Tamil Nadu Cricket Association and Andhra Cricket Associations uh, to send our under 19 boys before the World Cup uh, to be held in Sri Lanka but unfortunately since the World Cup got postponed so we could not you know partner uh, or you know send our team but yes there are there are several discussions um, uh, happening with the various cricket associations and we would definitely want to partner and you know, use the resources that are available. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm not getting what he's saying here. It's like, hopefully we'll use the resources. Like what specifically are you talking about? Like what specific resources, how specifically, like give specifics. It just sounds like, you know, when you're given a random thing just to get out of it, you know, here's your answer and, and go. It just doesn't seem like what, what specifically are you talking about? That is something we definitely look into for future. And as soon okay. as this World Cup is happening in the USA, you know, that's not something without, you know, without the preparation at home would be the best. So ICC have set up a team to, uh, you know, to prepare the pitches. So um, the pitches were actually prepared uh, in, in the U.S. And so he talks about the pitches and how they were prepared and stuff like that. It's kind of a shame the United States didn't have control of this, uh, that the ICC basically run ran everything that happened in the United States, from my information. You know, uh, uh, pitches and, uh, you know, there are experts who are actually involved in that. In the those pitches will deliver the expected expects game but i uh, you know so, so the world cup gives an opportunity to you know um to promote the sport in the the, in the local american community yeah i know so so like it gives you an opportunity to promote the game uh, within the local american community but like how specifically are you promoting it in the local american community because if you ask most people you know almost everybody they have no idea that this is happening if you check any news source they're not commenting on it. If you look up, you know, NBC, ABC, there's almost no reports on the Cricket World Cup. So far, cricket is being predominantly an expats game. But, uh, you know, starting now uh, with the marketing and promotion activities uh, during the World Cup, uh, there is some, you know, momentum. 
and uh, the world cup will definitely uh, boost the opportunities to expand the game into uh, the the american community so yeah, but it's like it, it'll provide an opportunity to expand like what's happening now that the world cup is going to happen in um a couple of weeks time like what's in place now like what what do you you're just giving like a bunch of platitudes it just doesn't make basically sense. because we are partnering with uh, involving the local government bodies and uh, which promoting ones? within the communities which so one? definitely the world cup is bringing a lot of awareness and then How? with the opportunity to you know the the cricket is opportunity for cricket to be in the world uh, olympics that will definitely i want to know specifics I, I, there's definitely attract the you know the the community where because the uh, us is a huge sports country and uh, people are looking to participate in the olympics olympics is a, you know the, the prime uh, area where all the sports bodies uh, focusing focusing in getting into so definitely since the cricket is being going to olympics that will actually give more opportunities to expand the sport uh, you know between the world cup and the olympics how like what specifically again table governance um, yeah there was history um, of challenges and uh, you know that he's talking about governance issues like if you don't know the USA C which is called now is for sure going to get suspended after the end of this world cup there's been news sources on it i feel too lazy to bring it up but there's a news articles on it check it out in 2019 the usaca as it was called was banned or um you know uh, expelled from international cricket and so united states we had to make a new organization um it hurts i can't listen to any more of this it hurts because this is such a great opportunity to grow the game and it's completely lost you know you have somebody who's not even able to um explain himself uh, about specifics on what is happening for cricket in the united states so i just wanted to give you that interview to show you when people are asking me what are we doing specifically about united states cricket you know what's happening um this is a big reason why nothing's happening because you have a leadership in place that does nothing that doesn't know how to plan things that misses opportunities that you know does petty things uh, that doesn't select based on choosing the best players things like that um it's really really unfortunate i hope after the world cup they can you know scrap this whole governing body and start new because i think that's a big big thing um you know why did we fire our um ceo of usa cricket why were the only two members of usa cricket like why did they quit suddenly right before the world cup you know things like that um it's really unfortunate so check out this channel for more details about that like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video